Hello YouTubers, Dan here. I wanted to make a quick video of some of the CPUs out of my collection. If you can't tell, I'm a huge Pentium Pro fan, and I have a variety of them with different offerings of level 2 cache. My love for this CPU isn't for its performance, but its looks. Words cannot describe how beefy and manly this thing is. Unfortunately, a lot of these Pentium Pros were melted down and are getting harder to find. So if you come across one, make sure you either save it or send it to me. I'm a big believer that these cool processors should be saved. A few years ago I was searching eBay and came across a set of Pentium Pro engineering samples. The holy grail of Pentium Pro CPUs to have in, a in your collection. I practically had a heart attack because I've never seen a set of ES Pentium Pros before. Obviously I had to have them. The Pentium Pro when it was first released was offered in 150, 166, 180 and 200 MHz speeds. But these engineering samples I have are rated at 133. These engineering samples or pre-production CPUs are sent out to the original equipment manufacturers, original device manufacturers, and independent software vendors to be used in product design prior to the processor's launch. I also have a couple of the original Socket 4 Pentium CPUs. Both of these CPUs are rated at 60 MHz, but one of them has the FDIV bug. The FDIV bug affected the floating point unit of early Pentium CPUs that could cause the CPU to return an incorrect decimal value when computing certain long divisions. Unfortunately, I don't have any motherboards to test these original Pentium CPUs, but hopefully someday I'll find some. Here are a few of my Cyrix chips. I remember back in the day, a friend of mine was saying how his Cyrix 6x86-166 that he was going to build was going to blow the doors off my Pentium 133. I was rather surprised by his processor choice, as we were both big fans of Quake. Unfortunately for him, when we were running the Quake time demos, it was obvious whose doors had gotten blown off. Even though the floating point units and the Cyrix chips were rather weak, they performed pretty well in other tests, and were much less than Intel. However, if you were a gamer who liked Quake, then there was only one processor of choice, and that was the Intel Pentium. Even though these Cyrix chips weren't great gaming CPUs, I still liked them. Let me know what you think of the small sample of processors I showed you today. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to break out my AMD collection, but I promise to make a video on them next time. Since this is my first attempt at making a YouTube video, please leave your comments and suggestions. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the like button. I'll also be starting a Pentium Pro build in the next week, so make sure to subscribe to get updates on the build process. So long.